Alrighty, so let's get started on makeup. I'm going out to dinner with my friend tonight. Went to work this morning. Obviously don't have makeup on because why would I put makeup on just to dog, um, to watch dogs play and you know, makes no sense. And I had to work at like 4 a.m. So I was not about to wake up early at the crack of dawn just to put makeup on for literally nobody to see it but now that people in you know the world are gonna see me i figured might as well obviously gonna do that dry shampoo soak it in yes i might not be doing it correctly i'm so sorry for you if you don't like the way i'm doing it Yes, I know I'm sure I do it wrong, but I was gonna shower before I left, but literally was just so tired, so I just came home and crashed. I didn't actually get to sleep, but oh well, what are you gonna do? All right, so before, all right, before I do anything, so we I use these flushable moist wipes I know, like baby wipes, yes. Um, but they've kind of like dried out a little bit. They're not like super wet. But I kind of like it because it actually kind of takes some of the oil off without it being a makeup remover, you know. So I like it. Obviously, if you can use it on baby's butts and stuff, I can use it on my face. So I just feel like I said, just to clean off the oily areas, wipe it, I gotta refresh and start over. Okay, now I'm gonna do this, not that, um, I like to do the, this brand, I believe it's Target, um, vitamin C and brightening, it just helps. Yes, I know, I just wiped the oiliness off my skin, but that's from like, sweat and being outside. So, give this just to kind of, so my skin, cause my skin has a tendency sometimes to dry out. That's kind of why I don't wear makeup every day because when I tried to, it just did not work. And then in high school I did, I had practice in the morning. So if I had makeup on, I was sweating and like the sweat would like clump with my makeup and it actually did not help my skin at all. Um, like sometimes I'll put like powder on just to not make me look like a zombie, but doing like the whole like face and concealer and all that, like I was like, no, no thanks. So I'm gonna go in, um, let me see, can I to so it won't be, yeah, I guess well. Um, so I'll let this try for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with Milani Prime, Primer, and put it on my face. I'm seizing time, getting low. Oh, maybe not, maybe it was just a little air bubble. Um, I know, I look ridiculous, oh well. And we're really, really in And I like to do this part a lot because that part I, like sweats a lot. I don't know why. That and my eyebrows literally sweat the most out of places on my face. Again, makes no sense at all. So the pores, I think it's like the pores in that part of my, is just like bigger than the rest of my face because like literally within 10 seconds, like if I'm hot, that's the first thing to sweat. Makes no sense, but you can see, I rubbed it in and I'll take it down to my neck because obviously I'm gonna be putting stuff down here so it doesn't look like my face is separate from the rest of my body. Especially because it's summer, I can't cover it with a t-shirt. They're gonna see like, oh, hey, look, your chest is one color and uh, your whole face is another, so. Um, 
and also I'm very sorry if my voice is like super monotone like I said I'm like half asleep um so I'm trying to wake myself up and I figured making a video and making myself talk would help so so I did that smooth yay now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and go if you can my eye my mirror is here so that's why I'm not doing everything like in with like to you guys just because my mirror is here and obviously that's what I'm used to looking at. So if my undivided attention is not actually at the camera, that is why. Don't panic. But my phone obviously is a lot smaller to look at than my mirror. So I'm using my mirror. I do that and then for this I actually go in with a dry beauty blender I learned this I think from actually Sean Johnson I was walking watching a video of her um and she used a dry beauty blender to do her concealer which I, I don't know I kind of like so I like I use this one just because it blends in a lot better to my skin because I obviously don't need that drastic lighter color because I'm gonna put um, foundation on but I like to just have a little extra around my eyes especially like that since I'm half asleep and here all right and like I said as you can see like on my forehead you can tell obviously like the color is not exact but at least just gives me like something to start with and then i'm gonna go in i know i need more of my other makeup that i use but i'm actually gonna go in with milani two in one foundation and concealer medium beige medium beige um i go between that and then the urban decay stay naked um it pretty much just depends like the colors are you know Kind of close, but a little different. Sometimes this can make me look a little too orange. Um, so we're gonna go with this one. And I have my brush here. Super, I know it's super dirty. Um, so my brush, um, it's from Sephora Foundation. Um, it doesn't have like a number or anything, but it just looks like that. So I'm gonna put this on my hand. Put my finger in it. Sorry, I'm not flipping off. And just dab, dab. I always, with this one, I always, because the head's a lot bigger than with the other one I use. So I always, I feel like I grab way too much. But I just do more dots on my face. So as you can see, like, right now, like, the stuff that I put on before is actually now starting to kind of like soak into my skin a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural than obviously it did when I first put it on which is why I like it um because I'm not one to have like dramatic makeup like I'm trying to learn how to do like contour and all that but you know like yeah and it takes forever and I'm not about to try to go in public with my attempted contour not gonna happen so I go with my brush and I obviously just wipe it in Brushy, brushy, brush. And yes, I do get some on my lips. Do I care? Not really. Um, and it helps too because my lips are kind of big. So it helps like my lip liner give a little bit. So... I don't mind a lot of like the makeup artists like when I used to get my makeup done at like Sephora or something they always told me like oh you know put foundation or something like something like on your lips and it should help like the lipstick stay better or it doesn't make sense because it's not like it's supposed to go on your lips because then what I do is my lips be dry and I rub chapstick on it so, I know, my lips are, like, scary. But, again, I'll, I'll change that in a little bit. 
So this one is definitely like I said because I accidentally put too much on my hand. It looks thicker. It's a lot more obvious. Obvi like literally looks like my face is like was painted on by a paintbrush. Um, where this is a lot more. It's a lot thinner. Which obviously it's called Stay Naked Weightless. So obviously. Um, and since because this is foundation and concealer, obviously there's a lot more in it. But since I'm going out and it's nighttime, obviously the thicker is fine. I don't care. Again, it's not like I'm going to like Walmart and all of a sudden, oh, I have a whole face of makeup on. Okay, so we use that. Let it soak in. Like I said, you always want to make sure to do, I don't wear like a completely different shade to where you can't tell that it's not my skin tone, but there are sometimes some moments, like if I, you know, it's summertime and I get like my summer color, but I haven't quite reached my summer color. Sometimes it'll kind of look weird. Um, but like I said, as you can see now, it's again, still, it's starting to kind of form a little bit um, into my skin. Um, and then, Okay, now we're going to do my, I also got this from Target, I think Target. Go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, um, it's technically concealer, but it says it's, it's more than concealer because it's, um, you can use it obviously for like contouring and stuff. This one I'm kind of starting to kind of use a little bit, but again, that's not like I'm a pro. So we're just gonna do a lot, and the brush is thick, like it's thick. So I'm not gonna like wipe it like I did with that one. Like I literally just dab it, four, and then it's big enough where I can do four on this side, and it doesn't even look like I had to stick it back in here. And there's probably still more on here. So maybe do the nose, the highlights, and the this. Alright, and I'm going to go in with no, not that one. I have some of the brushes. And then there's brushes that I don't have. So I'm gonna go in with a wet and wild this one. I know some of them are like, oh my god, that's a eyeshadow brush. I don't care. My some of the brushes I have are supposed to be blush brushes, but I use it for, you know, foundation, whatever. Go in. I know it looks ridiculous. Believe me, I know, but it's gonna... And yes, I know, it made a rain. I get it. I knew I'm gonna do this one. Obviously that one blended a little better because there's a lot less of it. So we'll do that. Sorry, my cats are about uh, every time they make like a little noise, I'm like, what is that? I guess they're trying to use the litter box right now. Okay. So yes, I'm not trying to like blend it into my skin. Um I'm literally just trying to obviously even it out with the rest. Like if I obviously like wiped it once, you could tell like there's a difference. And because I don't have my powder yet, then it's not a big deal. Now, you're probably gonna have the question, oh, do you not use the same thing, but for the contour contour? No, only because I don't quite know how to do it yet. I did it the other day, um, did like the line, did it in the spot it was supposed to be at, but I'm not used to the blending technique quite yet. Um, and I also might have gotten like too dark, which might make sense because I do have a darker complexion, but um, I haven't quite gotten the technique of how to blend or if I wanna use a beauty blender or if I wanna use a brush. Um, and so I tried it and literally had to go over again with, um, foundation. Obviously, yes, you can still see the outline of the, um, of the contour because of how obviously like bright it was because I hadn't blended it that well. So it, it was fine, but 
like I said, I don't have quite the technique I want for it. So again, I'm not gonna go in public with something like that's gonna look awful. Um, all right, so we got that. So now we're gonna do some, I don't usually bake my face, but we're gonna do a little bit today. So y'all are gonna be my witnesses of if this is a success or not. So I'm actually gonna go back. I use the same brush a lot, only because I haven't gotten a new beauty blender yet. Oops. Um, so I'm gonna go in. Get all that and get a lot of it. Get that all. And go in. Thank you. And obviously I'm going over the concealer type contoury stuff that I just um, put on. So you're not gonna obviously tell that I had that on before. Um, so it's supposed to be a lot thicker. There we go. All right, there you go. It's supposed to be super thick. Um, I only do it under my eyes. I don't really do it anymore. I think I, sometimes I do it on my chin and like, that's it. I know I look ridiculous. I told you I would look ridiculous. So do that. The only thing I hate about this lid though is that the, it's super messy. But if you're wondering what I'm using, it's the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, you can get it at Walgreens, Target, whatever. And it obviously always ends up on my hand because it's a mess. Um, so I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. And obviously like, I'm gonna let this cook, I'm gonna cook um, and do my eyes. So I don't really have technique when I do my eyeshadow because I don't really know how to do it. Um, all through high school, I had my friend Kira do all my makeup and stuff. So, and she look kind of had fun enjoying and learning how to do it. So she used to do it for me and now I'm like, oh shit, I have to learn myself. Um, I've seen like a couple technique techniques. I've been watching like videos and stuff. So I kind of just make up, I make it up as I go. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, and I always like natural because I have, if you can see like greenish eyes. And so I always try to stick with like the golds and browns and stuff like that. If I'm feeling super fancy, then yes, I'll do like pink if I'm wearing pink or whatever. Um, but it just depends. Yes, and also I might not be using the right brush. You might be like, that brush is not supposed to be used for that. Okay, but I also don't have the money to get a brush that's supposed to go with each step. Because each, oh, and when you do this to your eyelash, you're supposed to use this brush. Yeah, okay, that brush is like $15. Like, <laughs> so, so what I'm gonna do, oh, if you're wondering, I have a Morphe, Morphe palette. I'm going in with this one as just like my base on my lid. Obviously, like I said, you can't really tell it's there. It's just for everything, something for everything else to attach to. And what I've knew, something new, which you probably like, why didn't you know that? Um, is how many times you need to t shake it or hit it in order for all the loose stuff to come off. Because I cannot tell you how many times, like, I'll tap it once and there's still eyeshadow all over my counter and I'm like what I hit it why is it still there yeah I hit it a couple times I know again that probably sounds ridiculous but oh with okay got that and then I'm going to do um actually I have to go back in do that one this, was, this brush is a little different, but I'm gonna go in now with a, obviously more obvious color. So I'll probably do this one. My cats are nuts. Why are you hiding behind 
me. But yeah, as you know, I'm moving soon and I think I've got they've gotten to the point where they want like their own space. So now they like run and chase each other and I think they're kind of like not getting sick of each other, but they're like, okay, every time I turn, you're right there. So, so yes, I know this is like a darker color, but I will add to it so don't worry now what I usually do to curve it out because obviously I'm using a brush and so you can kind of see the edges is I go from this way and I kind of curve in just like that kind of finish the shape um yeah and then even though this is already a darker color, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of the lead, the darker type of color. And this one I'm going to hit a lot because I don't want it to go that much on my eyelash. So I'm going to go in. So see, it kind of darkens it a little bit. I know it's really hard to see. Um, you can kind of the highlights a little bit. All right, see, hello, darker. Um, depending on where it sits, though, I will try to. Okay, so we got that, and then I'm going to go in with, this is probably my favorite part. Um, yes, I just did all that base, and you're probably going to be like, why would you do all that if you're just going to do this? Yes, you're right, but that's just the way I do it. So I'm going to go in with um, this color. Sorry, if I, I did not show you. This is the color I did for my crease. And then I'm gonna go in with this one. Put it on my finger. And dab it on. Obviously keep going until it actually shows up a little bit. So it just adds a little bit of sparkle. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this goldish color. This one obviously is my favorite. You can see it's been used the most. And add that, like I said, I love the golds. And all that. So see, it adds like the little, the cooler color. And obviously I'm done with that. Um, sometimes I'll do my brows with it but I'm not one of those people that like obsesses about my eyebrows so if I do it I do it if I don't oh well I literally will go in with my pretty much falling apart um eyebrow pencil L'Oreal like if I take this part like it doesn't even like the brush kind of falls off but it works so why get rid of it you know and it matches see adds enough color and then all it is one brush here one brush there boom eyebrows done now we are going to take off this lovely baking um with a this brush wet and wild all right, so I'm going to take it off with this. I'm not take it off. I'm going to brush it off. And obviously, you're going to see stuff flying. You 
you see boom beautiful that's just probably the best time best like best it's turned out that's what i meant to say yeah we're we're too hard and obviously like yes it looks like i'm doing this really hard but like if you felt the bristles like are so soft like if i did this i doubt anything would come off because they're so soft so and that's why i use kind of use the sides too so it kind of a little grabs a little more I do that And wipe, wipe. And this is kind of nice too, because if I got extras, like let's say I had like flying powder when I did my these, I'm gonna kind of brush it off. Ta da Okay, done. Nose done. Okay, now for my favorite part. I don't know why it's my favorite part. Um. So what I do first is I do my down here. Um, I don't know. First, I go in with Fit Me powder, the rest of my face because I don't like it sticky. Um, but what I am gonna do after all that, I want to set that. And so I'm gonna spray. Yeehaw! Got it. Um. And then go in, this is medium. Sometimes I use medium deep, depending obviously how deep into the summer it is. Did not even mean to say that, that was kind of funny. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my big boy here. This is, doesn't tell me, but maybe you can tell by that. I think I got it at Target. Um, I'm gonna go here, obviously. And then I literally would just rub it in here until the powder is loose and like, not like so thick and then tap it on just again to kind of because I don't like because I don't cover my whole face with like the loose powder and the bronzer and the this and the contour and the, so there's parts of my face obviously that still you know like my forehead I don't do anything on my forehead and so it's still has that stickiness of like you know the foundation and then so let's just go in the bit of the nose take my hair everywhere the chin and this part obviously okay see obviously you can still see the part that i you know um baked but like except this part down here is taken care of Okay, and then put it away. Sometimes if I'm just going out on like general for whatever, I will use this, like I'll put foundation on and then put that like just all over my face. It varies. Um, again, I'm just trying to make it a little bit different since I'm showing you guys. Okay, so then I go in with my butter bronzer. What you need a Walgreens Target. And I use this brush. I think I also got this from Target. Mm, yeah. So I go in, dabby dabby dab. Get this, make sure it's not loose, and just go my highlight down there. Same with the other side. Yahoo. Um, and then go in with the big boy. Not that person, but NYX. And go in with where Pito. Just say no. No. Oh. There it is. These one I think also target. Um, and a little bit, all I do is I go back and forth, hit it, I dab it first just to get it on there, and then rub up. Obviously, I go up this way. I don't like go directly back. If I look, see I need more, I'll do it again. And I'm not pressing like super hard. Then I'll actually do the same on the older side. Okay. Now if I'm really feeling fancy that day, I'll go in on my finger, grab a little bit, and put it 
on my nose and then just go in with the one I use my baking and oh, wipe the excess off so you obviously don't see like a stripe along my nose. Um, okay, and then go in. So I did that. And then go in with the Hartford bronzer. And I know some people like to do the forehead and all that. I don't really know. I don't think that does anything for me, but I'll do that anyway, just since you guys are watching. And then I go in with, I do blush, but I like the darker colors. Like I still want it to be like pink, but not like the orange or brown. Um, I'm going with this and I use my little angled brush. Um, I think I also got awesome target. And I dab, dab, dab on here and then dab, dab, dab on the top. And then I don't go here back. I kind of start like mid eye and then go up this way. So I start here and up and up. So, and then uh, here we go. My cats are nuts. Same thing. Here and up, here and up. And then need to be doing the nose. Just to give him, you know, summer look. And sometimes I get a little too much blush, so if I do, I go in with this and I uh, wipe some of it off. Just to calm it down a little bit. Um, and then obviously the last thing is mascara. I go in with this, the damn girl, I believe it's Sephora. And I go in with this first. Just so you guys can see what I'm doing. I do the corners. And then obviously the same for the other eye, even though this eye is always harder. I do a new way. Okay, and somehow I can never get the inside of my eye. Nah, that works. And obviously I'll keep that. And then I'm gonna curl it and then yeah, so I'm going to finish it with the spray. I go in with the Urban Decay spray. This spray is a lot deeper than the other one, um, but I kind of like it because again, it's supposed to be all night, so a little thicker. And then go and curl my lashes because Jesus did not bless me with eyelashes that curl. Um, once they're up, I go in again with this one, the Declimper Wander Lux Volume. have to make sure it's facing the right way because I tend to poke like myself in the eye a lot. So there's that and then let me show you what I do for my lipstick. I'm probably going to go in with this one. Go with this one. It's the Jasmine La Belle Cosmetics Honey, probably from Walgreens because I'm cheap. And Walgreens has good stuff. So as you can see, it's very muted. So then I'll just go in with a little bit more of a pink color. And it is like a darker pink too. So I just add 
see. So we'll go ahead and a little bit. Um, because I do like the darker colors of the lipstick. See here, I think this is what I use. Yeah, I literally would go on with like five different lipsticks. And then obviously take off the excess. All right. So, ta-da. <laughs> Makeup is done, ready for tonight. Going to dinner, all that jazz. Obviously brush out the hair. I still have waves in it from when I put it in a braid earlier in the week. So again, kind of looks like I got ready. Just gotta fluff it up a little bit. I'm gonna obviously go change. And so, so makeup all done. If you guys have any questions, comment below.